Alrighty, so little green beans took a little longer than usual to grow out of the ground, but um, let's see, where are they? Oh, here's one. It's hard to tell. Here's another. Um, there's one back here somewhere. I just can't find it. And then... Well, anyway, they're coming out. Oh, there it is. Wow, it really perked up. So that's another green bean. So those are coming out, which is good. I was hoping they would. The other veggies made it through the freeze. So everyone... These cucumbers are looking a little rough, but they'll make it. And my tomatillos. This tomato plant's like super resilient. This orange one's having a harder time. And this one. So I'll keep y'all posted. I'm going to pull some weeds right now. So today is April. Oh, I'm so sorry. March 28th. And here's the green beans. They're coming along pretty well. They are definitely growing at a different rate because these are two plants. And then there's these. And there's this one that's just not growing really well and then this one back here that's just i don't think it can figure out its life oh my husband's here and then these are the uh, peppers and then i have a little bloom back here and then look at this little yellow squash that's growing like how cute is that the yellow squash and then let me show you a little baby cucumber that's coming along look how cute that little baby cucumber move this flower so you can see it that's a cucumber right here <gasps> yes and then tomatillos are growing really well and then this plant i don't think is going to make it i think it's a zucchini and then some of my tomato plants there's blooms all over them so those are all going to be fruit so this is what it looks like on march 28th So today is Sunday, March 31st, and I'm back in the garden because I want to show you guys how quickly these plants grow. It's kind of incredible. So these are the green beans. I think I was out here two days ago showing you progress. And they really are. There's just this one back there that's just not growing. But they're growing really quickly. These are the peppers. I'm probably going to trellis them depending on how quickly they're going to continue to grow. Look at this. This is that yellow squash uh, plant. There's a little yellow squash somewhere in here. Look at that baby. The little yellow baby there. These are the zucchinis. The cucumbers are coming along. Look how many more blooms we have. And this is just in a few days. Like, it really does grow very quickly. I added some purple peppers because I wanted a little more variety. Look at these tomatillos. This is just in a few days. Um, you know, we haven't had that much sun, but still they're growing just at an incredible rate. So I'm going to start trimming probably some of these tomato plants here pretty quickly. Um, because I don't want the tomatoes to be spending a lot of energy growing at the bottom and then not being able to give me nutrients up to the little flowers. So I'm going to do that probably during the week. Just want to uh, show you guys though how much it grows in just a few days. Like a few days time. Just have a ton of growth in the garden. So as you guys can tell, um, other than watering them, it's been pretty low maintenance. It's, it is my first time growing um, zucchini here and yellow squash and I'm just so obsessed because they're so cute and these peppers are just beautiful getting good blooms and those little um, green beans and these green beans are the kind that just grow in a bunch like this they don't need to be trellis and trellis means one of these things um, but I think the peppers will need to I don't know I've seen people do it so uh, the tomatillos are just insane like so much growing on here it's beautiful well, I hope this is inspiring you guys to grow home garden. And stay tuned. I will show you once we have a little more uh, fruits and vegetable growing in here. Alrighty. 
Hello everyone. So today is April 6th and garden's been in the ground since February 10th, which was a Sunday. It's now a Saturday in Texas. We've had a lot of rain and it's been mild weather. So not really, really hot quite yet. It's just been like in between. So um, today is muggy and rainy, but let me tell you, my vegetables are looking fabulous. Like so green, everything's growing so big. Um, just really excited like i said if only one person gets inspired to do a home garden from this i will be like ecstatic i cannot tell you how rewarding it is to do this it's work because you have to get up and water your stuff which so far i haven't had to do quite too much because it's been raining but let me tell you once it starts getting drier and hotter in the next few weeks i'll have to be here um, i like to water them at night because they'll get a lot of water to absorb and then they get to drink overnight and then during the day they dry out <laughs> so i kind of water them every day depending on how uh, warm it is so i'm gonna go ahead and show you where it's coming along you can see some green beans behind me and then some uh yeah that's actually yellow squash like uh how gorgeous is that like look at that plant anyway so i'll be showing you a close-up of that and hope you guys enjoy it Alrighty, so taking a look at the green beans look how beautiful they're coming along um i just weeded um because i'm not one of those people who puts down anything so that these weeds don't grow back i actually have to weed by hand so look at this um little plant here these are the peppers and they're looking so beautiful you can see that they're starting to form from the little flower buds so that is super exciting look at this this is the yellow squash like how beautiful is it in the process of growing these are the zucchinis and it's having little blooms in there as well these are my cucumbers so when I'm trying to teach them to go up the trellis, um, they kind of get messed up. So they're looking a little rough, but believe me, it will bloom and look all pretty really soon. This is another, I think it's a zucchini. This is going to be the purple peppers. Those are new, so they're not blooming as much. I'm kind of trying to control my uh, <laughs> tomatillos because they're growing pretty wild. Like these are growing super well, but they had from the beginning. This is going to be another yellow squash and some tomatoes looking gorgeous so that's what we have uh so really nice progress on the garden as you can tell it's getting really dense and green we've been lucky that we've had a lot of rain so it's really helping everything grow really beautifully and you know if, even if it's just one person that gets inspired to start a home garden i will be so excited Ready. 